if you are learning to code, this one idea will remove 30% of the confusion that you might have. But first, let us create a JavaScript file. I'll call this file something as simple as intro.js. That is how you create a JavaScript file. Just give it a .js extension. Now I'm going to create a comment here and I'll just call it uh, variable. So this is the idea that we want to talk about. I like you to think of variables as labeled boxes, right? And and you to imagine that you have a box that is labeled, for example, that box is labeled something like age, then it has been assigned a value like 40. And whenever you open that box, instead of that box is where your age is, uh, instead of that box is where your age has been written. So I'd like us to just write a simple program that is going to show us this. So these are how you declare a variable in JavaScript. Just use the let keyword, then you write the name of that variable and you give it a value. So let's say again, the age is 40. Just, say, just as simple as that, you've already created a variable. A variable is age, and then you've assigned it a value of 40. And remember, this works from right to left. You. Now, the next thing you can do here, you can just try to print this out. So we use console.log to print something in JavaScript. And once you do this, you can save it and pull up with the terminal here quickly. Because you had already installed Node, you just type in Node, then intro.js. And as you can see, it prints out the age here, which is 40. That is simply how you work with variables in JavaScript. So this means that you've already created your label box, you've assigned it a value. Now, I'd like you to just watch what happens whenever you try to change whatever is inside of this box. So how you do that is you can have age. Again, age is what you want to change. So you check the original age that was there, and then you add one. So assume it's your birthday, then you can write there. Also, we need just some... Uh, semicolons here to finish this off. Uh, now, if you do this and you run your program, you see it uh, prints out 41, which means that it has updated the value that you had given it for, for your age. So basically, this is how you work with variables in, in JavaScript. A quick one I can give you here is that whenever you are using the equal sign in programming, it does not mean equal to. It means that you are assigning. You're taking the value on the right and assigning it to the variable on the left. So this is an assignment operator. It's not an equality operator. If you want to learn more about JavaScript, I want you to go to my YouTube channel. I have a complete JavaScript course that you can use to get started and follow for more.